The following video shows an apical Edward Sapien 3 transmitter valve replacement. The patient was an 81 year old female with past medical history of mitral valve replacement with a mosaic bioprosthetic 27 mm valve and tumorectomy for left breast carcinoma followed by radiotherapy. She was admitted to our cardiology department with signs of left heart failure. Both transthoracic and transesophageal echo showed impaired LP function, severe mitral insufficiency with a ruptured cusp of the bioprosthesis and high pulmonary artery systolic pressure of 95 mm of mercury. Left heart care showed lesions of medical treatment. Euroscore 1 was 35% and Euroscore 2 8.3%. Pre-operative workup included CT scan which showed an enlarged left atrium without other anomalies. The scan also helped us at studying the left ventricular outflow tract, the valve and the geometry of the left ventricle with the surgical anatomy of the apex. Last, the scan gave us the working fluoroscopic view which was a caudal and a right anterior oblique. The initial TO at the beginning of the procedure showed the raptor cusp with a severe mitral insufficiency. The surgical apical approach was done as usual at the level of the fourth intercostal space. A standard G-shaped wire was placed through the valve and confirmed with three-dimensional TEO. The wire was placed at the level of the right superior pulmonary vein and then changed for an extra stiff wire through a right Jutskin catheter. Then the apical satitude introducer was placed as usual. It's important to notice that for the mosaic valve the annual plane is not seen on fluoroscopy and the transesophageal guidance is of utmost importance. The valve was deployed under ventricular rapid pacing with the balloon gently inflated under fluoroscopic and transesophageal echographic guidance. At the end of the procedure, echography showed a well-deployed Sapien 3 valve with a central trivial regurgitation, with a good co-optation and with a mean gradient of 4 mm of mercury. Surgical closure was done as usual. Thank you for your attention.